people of the interwebs, welcome back. More review action awaits us. So today, we're gonna to be checking out a package from Rogue Industries. Yeah, it's actually a front pocket wallet made in Maine out of bison leather. Packaging was nice and simple. It arrived super fast, actually, for first class. And on the inside, let's take a look at what we have. Probably not going to be doing some music, by the way, in the outdoor reviews. Nature does a good job of providing it on its own, I think. So anyway, in the packaging, we have kind of like a thank you card with the contact us information about their leathers a two-year guarantee and some return information so pause that at your convenience if you need to moving along it includes we have a nice included pamphlet of additional materials provided by rogue industries it's a nice big bag there it's kind of like what we have Lots of products, it looks like. Here it is, coming at you from Standish, Maine. Rogue Industries, the Rogue Wallet. It's bison leather right there, folks. RFID blocking, the original. Front pocket wallet. It's nice packaged. Fits in your front pocket point down, curve out. All right. Ah, boom. So I gotta tell you right away, um, the color is lighter than what I expected. And I like that. It feels, it, it seems like, it's also like a bigger wallet kind of than what I expected as well. But I think that uh, the pocket will swallow it all. So there's our card slots, some room in here as well on both sides, some ID. Look at the stitching. Wow. Yeah, this feels, this feels like a nice quality wallet. So I did some uh, looking into Rogue Industries and saw that they kind of started out with the idea of eliminating the back pocket wallet for, you know, it just kind of caused some stress and pain to our back as we sit on that big bulky wallet throughout the day. So they came up with the front pocket wallet. They noticed that the, uh, the front pocket curves as it as it is. So this should be a good fit for it. Another thing I find interesting uh, today with today's modern wallets, we have the uh, a lot of the wallets, you know, that have like the triggers on them that just kind of pop up the cards. So right here I have like the Polaris wallet. But look at this. One is slim, one not so much, eh? Wow. So this is probably actually going to be a little bit more comfortable or a lot more comfortable to carry around in the pocket in certain situations than the old Polaris here, especially if you've got the tight pockets. Interesting. Here we have the wallet loaded up. So I have a total of uh, three cards on the left and then one card on the right where you'd put your license, driver's license that is. Um, there is not a spot on the right for a card to go underneath this license spot. So you can put an additional card on the left underneath the, the three right there. And then in terms of bills, you know, I only have like four bucks in here. But, you know, a lot of us aren't carrying around tons of bills today. But it seems to work fine. I mean, I'd say that you could, you could put a decent stack in there without it really, you know, affecting it a whole lot. Um, I don't know, maybe 20. Uh, the thing also about this wallet is it's nice and tight. It's not really kind of, uh, you, I don't know how to explain it. You don't have like a lot of uh, loose feels on here. Everything feels like it's kind of like engineered in a way. You know, everything is where it should be and there is no extra, which actually, it, it feels nice. It's a nice feeling wallet. Uh, 
filled up. I'm actually really starting to like this more than uh, the other wallets with triggers. Triggers can fail. I don't think this really can. And it's got that RFID protection. Okay, we're going to attempt to uh, self-film putting this sucker in the pocket. I don't know how that's going to go. I'm going to have to stick the hip out here. So point down and then kind of like the curve on the outside to imitate and to follow the, uh, the pocket. Feels good. Feels nice in the pocket. Doesn't bulge out as much as the other wallet at all. And with that, it feels more comfortable. Yeah. I like it. I'm a big fan of this thing, actually. Pulls out easy. Goes in easy. All right. My final thoughts and opinions. At the end of the day, the Rogue Industries wallet here, I think is definitely a winner. I would definitely recommend this. Give it the five out of five, 10 out of 10, 100 out of 100. I think it has style. It's comfortable. And with the RFID blocking and not being as thick as the new minimalist wallets, I think you can kind of have that, uh, that old school style with some more modern flair, you know? Save your back. Put that wallet up front. Thanks for watching, people. Make sure to check out the link down below if you want to pick up your own wallet, which we done again, definitely recommend. If you're new in town, consider subscribing. Until we see you again, keep your nose clean. Bye-bye. This thing opens nice.